Anyway, so that was a couple of years before you you you've you've been around, but we've had we've had some. Uh, it's not the first time I've dealt with trolls. It won't be the last time I deal with trolls for sure. And yeah, I don't want to spend my time dealing with arguing with people. That's why I don't go to big family get-togethers <laughs> for the same reasons. I have um, my sister's husband. I have no qualms in calling him out because they don't watch any of my shit. And he blocked me on Facebook and years ago. My my sister's husband. Uh, my brother-in-law. Um, I think it was 2019. Chris and my wife and I went up to go spend the holidays with my family because we hadn't done it in years. And you know, they were all everybody was bringing their kids, and it was a good time to go hang out with all the nieces and nephews and everything else. We go up there, and and we all, you know, had a few drinks. And um, he. So I'm not very. I'm not. I'm not religious. I, I classify myself as like atheist slash agnostic. My whole family is religious. I'm very much, I'm not really democratic. I'm more of a, I'm just, I'm very liberal leaning, but I don't talk about politics on my, you know, it's just that there's no need to, but I'm definitely not, you know, there are things I like about the Republicans. There are things I like about the Democrats. There are things I like about independent. There's things I like about liberal. I just, I have my own way of thinking. Unfortunately, my whole family is very much I say unfortunately because they are, not because they're Republican, but because they're, they they, the they lean that way and they they won't shut it's up about it. Awfully pleasant They won't sensation. shut up about any of that stuff. So we were having, you know, we'd had dinner and it was a couple of days after Christmas, and um, maybe a couple of days before Christmas. Anyway, we were having we had dinner. We went back. We were going to play some board games. We we'd all had a couple of drinks. Nothing serious. Like I had a couple of glasses of wine, you know, and and he wants to start talking gun control. And I literally was like, I literally told him, I was like, no thanks. I literally told him, no thanks. I don't want to have, I, I don't have a need to discuss this. So, you know, you know, let's talk about something else. And he, he's like, yeah, but, but, and he kept wanting to try to push it. And I kept saying, I'm good, man. Thanks. You're, you know, you, you've got your views. I've got my views. It's not something we need to discuss here at the, at the dinner table. And he wouldn't drop it. My sister actually had to like grab him by the shoulder and be like, hey. He said he doesn't want to talk about it. Let it go. And then he starts arguing with my sister because he really just he wants to push the issue. He can't let it go. He's got to be right. He's got to know why I don't agree with him. And blah, 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 blah. And unfortunately, people like that are the same type of people who can't control themselves on the Internet. They, they can't. They can't control themselves on YouTube. They can't. And I remember um, a, maybe it's been a couple of years ago. Um. My brother said something one time on, on Facebook and my brother-in-law went to my brother's post and spent like four hours and left like 40 comments. Like he got triggered by this post and he left like 40 comments because he just couldn't let it go. And those are the type of people who I get on YouTube and I just, that's why I love the hide from, I, I love hide user from channel because they don't know that they've been hit because they, they see their messages being posted but they're not there. Um, they just go into the void, and I love it because I think that that's the coolest tool ever to be like, you you, you want to rant about, you want to get triggered by something and rant for 40 comments about something? Feel free, but you're going to be ranting into the void because none of us are going to see what you've got to say. But that's how, you know, I, I don't have any desire to have those types of discussions with people who can't control their Horace and I may disagree on matters of faith. You know, it's like um like I said, I'm not religious. Be my wife is. My line. wife goes to and church and two or three times a month. At your own risk. Um we have respectful boundaries, Chris and I. Um she respects that I'm not religious and I respect that she is. We have differences of opinions. Um and that's it. Like we have a very healthy, loving relationship without the need to, be, to be on the Your same page about every single thing that Absolutely. we talk about. And one of the reasons we get along so well is because we both agree to disagree and we agree to respect each other's beliefs. Um, oh, I was, I was born and raised hardcore. Like my parents put me in a private Christian school when I was in grade school in the middle. I like, we lived like, I was in basically, my parents were like an occult. 
they moved us out into the middle of the backwoods of the Mark Twain National Forest in nowhere in Missouri. And they sent us to this little private school where the principal of the school was also the pastor of the church that we went to. And it was their own private property that they had, like 40 acres in the middle of the Mark Twain National Forest, where they built their own little building. And there was like 40 kids that went to school there. And I went there for like six years through grade school. And then they put me in a Baptist high school where I got kicked out for having a beard because um, I didn't shave one weekend. Um, so I grew up in that whole thing and then got out of it and, you know, educated myself, essentially. But, you know, everybody's hey. welcome to their beliefs. But, <laughs> Haven't seen um, you around here before. Just I'm very in. much science first. <laughs> And it's unfortunate because there are times when I would love to have, I would love to have, I would love to make YouTube videos about certain topics, but I just don't do it because this this channel is for gaming and nerd stuff, you know. And it's it's tricky when you start talking about things like Star Wars because or Star Trek because way too many people have opinions about things that they and it's opinions that they don't know how to respect other people's opinions on and they don't know how to be respectful about. It's like, no, you're wrong. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Word gets around, I guess. <laughs> well, if you got a way to get off world, then maybe you can help. I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragon Star Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get this the sounds like a cool side quest, out here. man. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it? And bring it back here for No, me. you're all good. You're, you're all you good, back, man. Of course. It's, Plus, you know, extra. It's all good. Trouble. It's good to have conversations about things. I could do that for you. I you love will? books, man. Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks. But like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. This sounds like a really cool side quest. But before we do it, I've got to buy Oaks by cup of coffee. What right through me?
cats are monsters. Went out to go take a pee and Frodo snuck in here and as soon as I came back in the room he was up on top of the laptop right over here. It's like son of a bitch. <laughs> Those they don't they don't slow down, man. for a better proposal. Exciting things with holograms. They're incredible. Oh, right. I heard about that. They showed it off at the expo, right? Yeah. I saw the trailer for some of their new products, and I gotta say, I am hyped. All right, let's see here. Uh, you might not have been around when I was talking about that, Profound. Um, so Profound just asked a question, said, how come you don't get members of your community to mod your channel in Twitch or YouTube, for that matter? Um, because I refuse to have, I refuse to use volunteers. I'm not going to do it unless I can pay someone. It, unless I can pay someone to be a moderator, I'm not going to do it. There won't, there will never be a moderator on my channel unless it is someone I am paying as an employee. Absolutely. And... So that's that's the easy answer to that. I've had people volunteer their time, and I'm like, nope, no thanks. Thank you for your offer, but no thanks. I don't want volunteers. Yeah, it's a that's a it's a personal thing. I won't work for free ever for anyone. Now, if it's my own projects, <clears throat> I have done several bootstrap projects. Um, our MMORPG that we launched that was bootstrapped for. I think the first four years we bootstrapped before we got investors, and then the final three years was with investor money um, before it got published. The, uh, the most recent project that I did with my brother and my wife, we hired contractors, and we used Patreon to fund it. We bootstrapped the first year, and then Patreon covered the rest of our production, so it covered all of our art costs, all of our music costs. Uh, it covered uh, all of our asset costs for the uh, Unreal Five, Unreal Four stuff. Um, so it was bootstrapped and then Patreon produced. Um, I will never, ever, ever work for free ever. I, I get contacted all the time by startups who are like, "Hey, we'll give you equity." And I don't want equity. I don't want equity in your product. I want a paycheck. If you can't pay me for my time, I'm not going to work for you. And so all I won't put political. other people through that. It's well, like especially that. You really can't complain about something that is literally a um, So, you know, when we get to the point, yeah, I'm way too old for that shit. I'm 44. Um, I've worked on so many multi-million dollar projects over the years that I just, I don't lift a finger unless someone's going to pay. It's funny, too, because I make less money doing YouTube than I did in my public speaking. The most recent thing I did was as a public speaker and consultant and marketing guru. So I did a lot of work with startup companies um, over the last, like, basically since around 2014. Uh, it was a lot of work for startup companies. We were working, my wife and I were working around the world with different travel companies, doing influencer stuff, and then in game dev, you know, as the CEO and, and creative director and driving force behind these projects, raising millions of dollars of funding. and. Managing, you know, 25 different people plus, in, you know, all the contractors and everything else. Um, yeah, my my background is such where if someone wants to pay.
pay me for my time, you know, I'm going to want a quarter million dollar a year salary. Like, I'm not going to work for less than a quarter million dollars a year. Like, it just, I'm sorry, that's where I'm at. Like, you want me to come on and work for $15? And, no, fuck off. Um, what's up? The Naproxen is key. Naproxen is a key. One second. I heard they found another new fresh water deposit in one of the mines. So much better than paying those ridiculous import prices. That's how you pronounce it. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Seriously, now I want to look up every word in the dictionary to make sure this doesn't happen again. Learning to accept the truth of higher power is key to understanding the universe. on the surface of Mars? Ridiculous, huh? Doesn't look anything like one. me in the next 20 minutes I may have to duck out and go over to the clinic just to show up to physically sign a piece of paper but she's hoping that she can do it without me needing to be there anyway what I was saying was yeah I'm too old and I've got too much experience um, to want to go work for somebody for free um, the most recent and it's been a couple of years I think maybe about a year and a half ago I had a um, a fledgling MMO company reach out and they wanted me to handle marketing and be their lead writer, right? And they were like, we'll give you 5% in the company. Um, I think it was like $75,000 or something. And it was like, no, I sorry. I want, you know, 250 grand plus the 5%. And I want full healthcare coverage and all my travel taken care of and everything oh no we can't do that well then i can't do that like it's like it's that simple like i'm not and i don't make anywhere near a quarter of a million dollars on youtube but that's not the point the point is everything i own chris and i every everything is paid for we have no debt zero debt no credit card debt no home loan no car payments no Go to mortgage Mars, they said. no the school loans great, i am 100 percent paid for so i do still need depression. to work to pay for food and health insurance and you know all those electricity and I internet and all those better. other things but i don't have to work for like all those other things like and that puts me in a very blessed position there's a great movie with john goodman and mark Wahlberg. I think it's called The Gambler, maybe? And there's a famous quote. What's up, Chris? Porque yo estaba sacando todo afuera mi mochila donde vi para mi viaje. No. Okay. Okay. Faith in God is what I think it's called The Gambler, is. and um, there's a quote where John Goodman's character talks about um, fuck you money. He's like, everyone knows what you do when you get $2 million. You know, about, you, that's that's but, fuck you money. You know, it's like, you buy a house, you buy a you know, quarter million dollar house, 
you put a 40-year roof on it, you buy a Toyota for, you know, $30,000, it's oh, well, going to last for the next 20 so years, and that's your Fortress of Solitude. So you have your Fortress of Solitude, and you have Fuck You Bunny. And that literally means that your boss says something you don't like, fuck you. You know, your your family says something, oh, fuck you. You know, somebody says, fuck you. Like, you just, you don't have to worry about it. And it's a very nice position to be in, because I can literally sit here and say, you know, screw off. Like, it's a very enviable place to be, and a lot of people don't have that luxury. Um, but um, look at this guy doing push-ups over here. Way to go. New to Sidonia? I should probably be <laughs> doing some like Sam. So. But yeah, I, I, I said the other day on Twitter, um, Larian Studios opened up a new studio in Faith Warsaw. In Larian in Studios is probably the only company is what that I would go stars. work for for less than a quarter million dollars. I would, I would, I would work for Larian for a fifty thousand dollars a year salary. If they wanted, to, if they called me tomorrow and were like, "Hey, we'll move you out to one of the studios. We'll move you and your wife out there. We'll pay for your visas and all your moving stuff and everything else. And we'll set you up and we'll we'll pay you fifty grand a year." I would do it for Larian Studios because I love their games and Sven seems like a really cool guy and their whole team seems really, really cool. But that's probably the only company I would do that for. Like, everybody else, no, no interest in... Nope. I'm happy to sit here and grow my YouTube channel and make my uh, pennies in comparison, but as long as my, as long as my monthly bills are paid, I get to be in that position of <sighs> what a long day. One of these days when the channel gets big enough, you know, we'll probably get to the point where I'll have... I'd like to get two or three people on board and have them be, you know, moderators slash video editors slash whatever. And, you know, I've had some interesting conversations. Um... I've got someone in mind to potentially come on board and, and do video editing and some moderating Always for me, nice but to kick back at the uh, had some good discussions earlier this year, uh, and then it was then the, the project that I'm about to go do, that I'm going to be out of the office for, um, came up, and so I was like, let's just put that on hold until I get back from that, and then we'll have future conversations, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, you know who you are, um, but other than that, you know, I'm very content with where I'm at right now. It's just Chris, me, and the cats and the chickens. And as in hell to the no, 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 says Akazar. Exactly. Find a Dragon Star Force book. This sounds like a good website. Going to Hope Town. But I mean, who knows? YouTube could go belly up tomorrow. Twitch could go away tomorrow. I started early today, says Axar. I did because um, I was going to play The War Within. I was actually playing The War Within beta this morning, Akazar. And I kept getting booted over and over and over. So I was like, they're having server issues and stuff so I was like yeah I'll just go stream instead because I gotta I gotta get more episodes in the bank I don't want I've got you. episodes of Starfield scheduled out to June 16th but I'm gonna try to get enough episodes hopefully if, if I if I can do enough streams between now and Saturday I might be able to get enough episodes in the bag to uh, have There's at least one daily Starfield episode airing every day systems. throughout June while I'm out of the office everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority Nothing else I can do except for sit here. I'm still nursing a if I am not mistaken, groin injury. You are new here. I am I feeling hope you better. You find Hope so. Town as full of opportunity as the Trade Authority does. <laughs> a marvelous not going place. anywhere. So. Truly laissez-faire. If you have any tomorrow is to some apply, sort of I'm event. I'm happy to oblige. I know uh, Dune Awakening said that they're going to have a story trailer reveal tomorrow. 
it's like Summerfest or something. So tomorrow, there'll, I don't know if I'll stream that, um, but I'll definitely be covering the news around that. Yeah, tomorrow, I think, is when that starts profound. So I'll definitely be doing some coverage around that. I don't think I'll stream it. Um, maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. I haven't even looked into when it's airing. But I do know Dune Awakening said that they're going to have a story trailer dropping. So I'll definitely be covering that. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Why are you set up in a bar? I've never been much for offices or a storefront. But here, people from all over the system come here. A true crossroads. Let's trade. Excellent. So he's probably got a book for sale. If I had to guess. Yep, Dragon Force Volume 1. Dragon Star Force. Can I read the book? The universe is in chaos. The evil Sakyan, an alien being born of pure hatred, has amassed his secret armies to rain destruction upon the people of the allied worlds. A young man, Zephyrix Laserbrand, is thrust into the conflict when he discovers he is the descendant of a great hero and one of the only ones capable of wielding the Dragon Star, a magical weapon capable of defeating Sakyan, Sarklon, sorry, and bringing peace to the galaxy. But first, it must be found. goes to June, June 7th to the 10th with different events? I had no idea. Hell no to the no, no, no. I do gotta pay attention to my phone, so. Chris just walked out the door, so I'll, I should know within the next 20 minutes if I have to leave the office or not. As long as I feel good, I think we're just going to stream. Um, oh, yeah, you're looking at the wrong Summerfest, Hakasar. <laughs> Motley Crew, what? I didn't know Motley Crew was in game development. Times have changed. They must be really struggling for cash, man. No more residuals from record sales. So, at the very least, uh, there will be some fun news articles coming out um, about games over the next few days, starting tomorrow. Um, so, at the very, I know for a fact I'll, that we're getting the Dune Awakening trailer. I don't know anything beyond that because I haven't looked I at older, any of the stuff that's I'm potentially coming out. Dude, does he have other stuff? The Comet. Wake up, Benjamin.
Oh, did you find the book, Dragon Star Force Volume 1, The Heroes of the Dragon Star? I did, brother. Oh, thanks a bunch. Oh, I can't wait to read it again. And then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value. Here's the money I promised. Dude, happy to help you again in the future. Did you know they filmed one of my favorite movies, right? Oh, uh, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Oh, we're Star just going to do this chain right now. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Are they covering Dragon Age Dreadwolf? Oh, thanks. You're really doing me a huge favor. I've purposefully just avoided all the stuff around that until I until they have a concrete like release date set. Ooh, we're going somewhere I don't think I've been before. Fully revealed this week? Oh, uh, sweet. Like, fully revealed gameplay? Or also the release date? Because I haven't paid attention to any of it. I'm a Dragon Age fan for life, so I'm not I'm not buying into any of the negativity surrounding it. I'm just patiently waiting for whatever Bioware is going to drop the launch date. 